Yeah, as a competitive guy, I mean, you obviously that's kind of ingrained in your DNA. Like, w where along the lines did you start f realizing you had to scrap a little bit and kind of, you know, take that that physical brand to the next level? Yeah. Um, no, I think I, you know, just growing up, I think I've always had that kind of that little switch, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, Provi called it a major switch. Is that what he said? Yeah, he yeah. did say that. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Sears is the best. He's the nicest guy I've ever met. But boy, when he switches, it's a major switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, all right. Well, that's fair, I guess. Yeah. It's a good that's switch. A good that's, that's a good yeah. switch, yeah. That's a good yeah. thing. That's a good thing. Not yeah, a bad thing. that's funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did he say that? <laughs> he did. Oh, I know. Yeah. Really uh, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, just just growing up, I think I've I like I said, I've had that, you know that that switch, and I think you know as you get older into the as you grow in a hot you know in your hockey career, you're able to like you know obviously fight a little bit in USHL. I didn't really fight um, a couple times, I think, um, but I was still kind of growing into my body and kind of figuring things out, and um, so. But I've always, you know, I've always had that. You know, you know, stand up for teammates kind of mentality. I think um, growing up, even though you couldn't really, you know, fight. Right. Oh, yeah. you, know, you could always the cage rage. Yeah, yeah. the cage yeah. rage. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is different, but sure, um, it's kind of funny. Yeah. So um, yeah, I would think, you know, obviously college you can't you can't fight. So it's just no real accountability, I guess. Right. So you yeah. guys are just throwing the you know big hits and um, they're real tough yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, the yeah they're on, yeah. yeah everyone's tough in college and uh <laughs> but um once i got to professional hockey in iowa where i started um you could tell that you know guys play different there's accountability there's you can't go running around you know trying to cronwall guys anymore <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. there's uh <laughs> you're gonna have to answer uh answer the bell so i remember i i think i fought um uh, my first pro fight i you know i i had the mindset of just kind of like i i want to get into it you know and early um kind of get that experience because i think that's the best way to learn yeah how to fight and you can probably attest to this is that you know getting into fights is the best way to learn how to fight totally right? yeah so that's the, um, that's the truth. Yeah. And then, so I think it just kind of went from there, but I think my mindset's never really changed in, in the, in the sense of, you know, always wanting to, you know, stand up for yourself, but stand up for your teammates more importantly. And, um, I don't know. I don't know if you know, Jeremy Clark, um, if you heard the name, he's, he, uh, he works for LA Kings, but, um, I've heard the name. Yeah. He, I'm not What's sure if do? I know who he is. He's, uh, so he owns, Back where I train in the summers in Minnesota, he owns um, Minnesota Top Team. Okay. And it's a uh, boxing, jujitsu, oh, okay, right. and CrossFit gym. And um, so, but he primarily works with, um, well, he works in development for LA, but he, he's been with LA for a long time. But um, he does fighting, you know, hockey fighting specific training uh, in the summers with us. And I've, I've been seeing him for, long long time now which is has been great i mean he's um so we'll do you know a normal hockey workout you, know, you guys get it in the in the summer and then usually a couple times a week we'll do you know hockey specific you know grabs and holds and yeah um you know we'll do boxing and stuff like that and so that that helped me also have confidence in myself and kind of how you know how i want to approach it and um but again like getting into Getting into scraps is the best way to learn. Yeah, so that's the You truth. can always have a plan, but it's yeah, like, yeah, well, yeah. The plan's out the door once that, you get I'm, I'm smoking the nose. I'm glad you both just said that because I was just going to tell you a quick story, Seal. So when Riles was with, uh, with the Flyers, he also weighed 40 pounds more than he does now. Just, <laughs> just so I like to bring that up a lot. Yeah, you um, do. And he doesn't weigh. He's, what well, he's, do you weigh? he's lean, man. He you are like, pretty, uh, pretty. Just under 200. Fuck, uh, man, you fight some big men um, <laughs> but uh, and do well. He's efficient. Um, yeah, uh, but Riles um, did what a lot of what you're talking about. I remember you guys used to have, uh, yeah, it's, I, someone the, used to come over, but well, Marco Prazo. Yes. And then, uh, I remember being upstairs working out and Riles was going up and he's like, I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, Oh, we got some guys coming over. They were police officers. From yeah. The big, yeah. The big so cops. I'm okay. like, what do you, what are you guys gonna do? He's like, we're just sparring. So I'm like, Oh, it's going to be messing around, you know? Yeah. So I go back up there and I see Riles and there are these absolute animals mutants these men were so big and i'm like 
Well, and they start fighting. And I'm like, what are you doing, man? You guys yeah. are po- like going at oh, it yeah. like 85. Oh, it's only like 85, 90%. <laughs> I would have been sleeping for sure, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> they look like uh, WWE wrestlers, man. Well, they are huge guys. They, they yeah, were yeah. big, and so... What kind I, of fighting were you... What, what were you doing? Well, what kind of do what you were talking about? Like, the, it was like uh, a little bit of dirty boxing, so we'd wear, like, the, the jitsu gi. Yeah, the gis, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, obviously representing the jersey, and then just, yeah, getting in tight and swimming. Like, it would start off with, like, no hand combat and just swimming and kind of positioning yeah. and then oh, it and then Marco would kind of ring the bell and like now you guys are fighting for a minute and then it was so we like wow, it was supposed intense. to it was supposed to be like eighty nine percent but you know how it goes like you get hit you get hit <laughs> yeah. and then you're like and you know you shake mad, your head right? and you want to hit the guy was, was that harder than we agreed yeah. to play yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we're guys, doing that yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. oh you want to play like that yeah, yeah I exactly. was like man I'm getting out of here for yeah. Like but yeah, I mean, it was it was necessary. I mean, the guys the guys that we're, we're bringing in to fight were kind of representing like the Brashears and the yeah, Rocks and those types of guys. Yeah, the big, big heavy man. dudes. But but uh, it was funny because Seal says you, you have a plan, and that was what you said to me. You're like, I'm going to be better this year about going in there. And I, I don't remember who your first fight was that next season, but it was just toe to toe like yeah. you always did. And I, I remember the next day, I was like, what happened to that kind of like plan? Yeah, I just yeah. You get into it. it Plans doesn't out work. the door. It doesn't yeah. work that way. Yeah. <laughs> but it was funny, funny how that works. That. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. That's but great. I could see, like you mentioned the confidence piece, like, you know, um, I see a lot of myself, you know, when you fight, I'm like, this guy's like, you know, yeah. this guy's not afraid. This guy's like in it. And he's, you know, it's like, it looks like, you know, you know, uh, punches and bunches and, you know, like you, you're, you're going after it. You're not, you know, you're not sitting back. So obviously what you're doing is working. Um, like, like walk us through like, you know, what, what one of these training sessions will work out specifically for the fight, because I mean, it seems like it's a, a good thing for anyone to do, right? Just yeah, to learn yeah. how to just defend yourself because you, yeah. God knows you're going to land up in a scrap at some point in your right. life. Right. I mean, or yeah. in a hockey fight anyways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. I mean, I think, you know, going into it, I think, uh, well, at least with Jeremy Clark, and he always preaches self-preservation, yep. then defense, then offense. So then I feel like going in with that mindset instead of, you know, maybe just I'm, go- I'm going in swinging for the fences, you know, yep. I think having that, you know, that almost like a game plan, but like I said, you can always you can always <laughs> plan, but then you, you get in a scrap. I've had a couple where it's just like, okay, I'm going to try to, we're going basically toe to toe, you yeah, know, and you, right. you want to get the better of them. Right. Sure. But, um, I think just getting your bearings, at least, um, you know, let's say for a couple of fights ago when I fought Gilbert, mm-hmm. you know, we squared off and, um, you know, I'm looking for his, his lead hand, his grab hand and, um, trying to, you know, parry that, you know, so he has a, maybe a, um, not the best grip, you know, because guys are always trying to either grab here, yep. you know, or get in, you know, grab your arm. Yeah. And um, so, you know, try to, you know, allow him not to get the best grip, I guess. And um, and then go from there. And, um, you know, one other thing, one other thing we're taught is, you know, to our grip is, you know, get in into the shoulder, yep. you know, into that collarbone and, and kind of like, yep. you know what I mean? Oh, so, yeah. yep. so you have that almost like a pulse, right? Yep. So you can kind of feel when they're punching and, um, kind of absorb it a little bit and, mm-hmm. you know, keep your, tuck your chin a little tuck bit. Your chin. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, and, you know, counter when you can and, you know, how th- there's guys who do it. D-Lo does it so well. Yeah, he does. Like he's, he's such a good, co- Reeves does it too. He does it really well is that, that counter punch and, mm-hmm. you know, as it staying in the pocket too it, is I find, uh, important instead of, you know, you know, going like this and all of a sudden you can't see what where he's yeah, coming from that's and a great point and that's what guys usually get knocked out when they right. start turning that's in, where turn yeah dangerous it. things can happen when you're yeah. kind of turned away and yeah. you're not you don't have your you know, you're not planted and you're not strong there right so mm-hmm. i think um clarky um it preaches this that's that too so um i think it, like as long as you have those you know that that confidence and 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 your ability to to be able to withstand that first flurry and, and get into a comfortable position and yeah. and then go from there and then um, I think it's it's been it's been good. So well, D- yeah. D'Lo did say, and I am quoting: "You had a face like a concrete wall." So he said, <laughs> he said his hand. He said it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he said his hand still messed up from uh, his, fighting you last year, or or yeah, last, last year, last year, yeah, last year, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a hell of a um, fight. I, I remember him calling me because we we talk every day about what we're doing on the show, and he was like, "Did you see that? Did you see seals last night fight that yeah. glory?" I'm like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Wow." 
But he did say that. He said your face was like a concrete wall. Well, he, uh, the first, because we met, the first time we met, he's, he, he turns and he goes, look, and his fingers all, like, because he, one of his fingers, he can't, like, bend that much. He was like, this is because you. <laughs> cause oh, really? You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, what did I do? You just punched me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not my Don't fault. Don't blame me. <laughs> yeah. And drop the forehead. Oh, yeah. Funny. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was, a, he was a tough dude. That was a good, good showing, and you've had some really good showings. I mean, again, I you, appreciate you it. seem like you, again, you, you, you I, get the foundation, you plant yeah. yourself, and and, and you, you say you have a plan, but you're you're not sitting back waiting for things to happen, you know. So it's that's, that's nice to see, you know, because I feel like this this role, I know the role has evolved, obviously, but it's nice to see kind of like that throwback type of guy yes. still floating around and you know fighting just you. a obviously, competitive edge. Yeah, and, yeah, just and the having part. an edge is is. Not where it used to be in the game. You know that. I mean, yeah. you, you've been playing for a while now. Um, I, I will say this, and apologize to Braden, although I did talk to him about it, but when Braden went after you there, I was like, oh, no. That might not be the best move. Shitter's a, oh, tough, Shitter. yeah, Shitter's right. a tough kid. Like, yeah, don't is. get me wrong. But I was like, oh, man, hey, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really want him to do that. But uh, And we did talk about it. Yeah. So at least we doing what he had to do for his team. Yeah. Trying, no, to get, I were, yeah. trying to get the boys going. You know, and, um, I think there were... I don't think they were playing, there, right? Wasn't there? Because Bartuzzo fought. Yeah, yeah. Macker like, and yeah, it was yeah. Like two or three in a row. I don't think. I think they lost a few in a row. And yeah, uh, Shunner, I think he was uh, yeah, spark he was, his team a little bit. So yeah. have to respect that. Yeah. yeah Who would you say sure. your toughest opponent has been so far? D'Lo. Yeah. 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 For sure. I actually fought D'Lo uh, twice. When once when he was in Montreal. Oh. Um, okay. Right. You're with Mini. Yep. Yeah. I was with Mini still. Um, yeah, check that one out. Yeah, yeah. yeah see that one. no, you don't have to. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those you try and bury. Yeah. Oh, well, I got plenty of those. Yeah. It's funny. It was four. It's it was four zero. We we're winning um, in Minnesota, and uh, I don't know. He he asked me off the draw. We just scored. I think he asked me off the draw. I was like, I was looking up at the, I was a scorer. I was like, nah, there's no real reason for right. me to do this. And then. Like, like five seconds went by, and I don't know what, like something switched. I was like, all right, let's let's do it. So I was like, do little, there's that goal. switch. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, that switch. switch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so he dropped the gloves, and I knew who he was, obviously, because he's you know D'Lo. But um, I didn't. I guess I didn't really, you know, know his tendencies yet, or like what he likes to do. And so I remember trying to grab on and. You know, missed the grab, so we kind of reset, and then he <laughs> he starts with the uppercut overhand right to start without even grabbing. I'm like, wow. what's this guy doing? I was like, <laughs> How many guys am I fighting here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty so, good. And then, uh, yeah, it was. I mean, it was a quick scrap. I, I threw a couple and and ended up falling and then getting back up. So it was it is what it, I mean. It was it was a good learning experience too. Right. You know, guys like that, and you know he's. He's a big boy. He has a lot of experience, and yeah. Uh, yeah. to get that experience is always good. Yeah. Um. So, but yeah, that was kind of funny how that happened. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's funny, you guys. Like, I remember, you know, a few years back, when there was more of of the, you know, I say tough Fist guy. The yeah. You guys used to be on my computer, and you oh, know yeah. where your stick room is at the center. Like, I always had my computer there, and guys would be on there checking, watching fights and stuff. It was kind of funny. But um, it has changed, but it's uh, – I would think that you feel like it, it has to be a part of the game to hold people accountable, like kind of like what you were saying earlier, because if you don't have it, and then we've talked about this a lot on here, you, you're just going to have guys running around like idiots yeah. and not being held accountable for it. Sure. So, but. How much do you watch video? Is that – I mean, knowing your opponent and stuff like that, or do you, you yeah, kind of – I think, you know, D- D-Lo too, we always talk about it. It's like – kind of who's who's up next kind of deal and like we i think guys know that who who's on the other team who's yeah. willing to scrap and yeah if things kind of get out of hand i guess and um but yeah i think knowing i'm not like sitting down doing video i guess but i i certainly watch guys watch their fights and yeah. you know kind of understand you know whether they you know th- throw first or you know they tend to grab first or like for instance, like Reeves, like he's always looking for that hand to control it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when if he gets a hold, you're, you're like all of a sudden, you know, kind of swimming. So it's just stuff like that that's kind of good to know. And um, But again, like I'm not the guy going, you know, before the game, 
expecting to fight or going right. into the game going, I'm going to fight. It's yeah. always, um, you know, it's always been, you know, play hockey. And then, you yeah. know, if something, you know, if a teammate gets hit, stand up for your teammate or stand up for yourself if you – if you need to. And, you know, I, I think that's a good approach for me as far as, you know, kind of where I'm at. And, yeah. um, so yeah, it's been good. Yeah. I wish I could approach the game that way. Yeah. It was like I expecting know. to fight and maybe playing hockey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was, it was like a little different. Opposite. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little different. It's a little bit. different, but, but yeah, a lot we, we watched at least to watch a ton of video. I mean, there was, you know, okay. yeah, I mean, there was a lot of fights back then. Yeah, you guys are fighting 30, 35 times a year, it's you know, wild. which is a lot. And there was, there was a lot of guys, a lot of me fighting majors. So, Every team had one or two, so um, it was just more. It was just more of a thing, right? Um, right. But yeah, a lot of hockeyfights.com dot com, and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the probably too much, you know? Probably you know. But again, it was like it consumed me. The, the role was a very real thing, and, and sure. you know, and there's just so many guys that um, you know. I, I look back, and I probably should have focused on hockey a little bit more, but but it was it was what it was. It right, got you, you know? there. Yeah, I mean, what, exactly. That's got well, that's I mean, that's an, I got a ton of respect for you and in, in the role that you had. I think it was like you said back then guys are fighting 30 35 times that that is crazy. You know, yeah. and the toll it takes on your body, I can't I can't imagine and um but that's good that they had hockey fights back then. <laughs> yeah. 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 Take a peek cuz it was yeah. different Take big boys back then. Oh like, yeah. Yeah, you were just talking about Reeves. He had a good fight the other night against uh, Johnston. Uh, oh, yeah. Islanders. Yeah. yeah. He was doing what you said. He get, he likes to get yeah, in there yeah. and get kind of control oh, yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah, when big guys like that fight, too, like it's, well, it, it is like a battle of the reach. You know, I obviously didn't have the reach. It was always like swimming in. And, you know, if there's big guys like that, if they string you out, you're in some serious trouble. So it's right. like, yeah, we're trying to get inside and right. work the uppercuts. Just like, just get anything you can, you yeah. know, because. We had the lefty duo going, too. Yeah, yeah. Left, yeah. It was nice. I, I, something popped up on my feed the other day. It was like uh, your your scraps. It was like a compilation of oh. your scraps. I was like. <laughs> And I started watching. I'm like, wow! Like, yeah, the lefts were flying. Yeah, yeah. Were, yeah. The lefts were flying. Uh, we had John Scott on, and he was like naming the guys. He was f- like fighting against a lot, and it was brash. And uh, who's the other big lefty? Um, well, the Rock. Oh, big Rock, Rock. And he was like, man, he's like, because he was like, I never had to fight lefties that much, he, but. You, he was in an era where there was a lot of lefties. Yeah, you were well, the three of the lefties. toughest guys. I think he, well, yeah. Chris Simon in there too. Yeah, Simes. That's um, right. Yeah, I forgot about Simes. Little God. Rock and Brashear all lefties. Because most of the times I was fighting righties, you know, so it's kind of yeah. like stalemate when you're squaring off, right? right. Um, and then there was really not a whole lot of strategy besides, you know, <laughs> yeah. just like punches and bunches and right. getting inside. But then once I fought a lefty, especially big ass dudes like that, I had to really kind of like think it through because you really? get really hurt. Yeah. I mean, the rock fought a little bit more like myself. Brash would really bring you in and like use his strength to like shake you and like yeah. give these like these pretty like in tight uppercuts that sure. could do some damage. Um, a little different, a little different animal, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, th- I think for those few guys, I had to be a little bit more cautious. But when I was fighting righties, I didn't really, I knew what they were going to do, but I didn't really have a whole lot of uh, you know, right. expectations. It was just like, <laughs> just get in, just get in there. Yeah, you try know to get I mean? that first one. Get that first yeah, one. Yeah. yeah, I like to. What was that one in the in the corner? I forgot. It's oh, a brash. Wah. Oh, Andre Wah. Yeah. yeah, the one where he got the yeah he, he dropped. Kind of yeah, dropped Torts was coaching yeah. Tampa. Oh, really? There, if you watch, if you YouTube it, Torts is literally. I was I was actually worried for Torts. And I don't think I knew him yet. I don't think I'd worked with him yet. But he's trying to calm the guy down. They showed it on the Jumbotron a hundred times. Oh, really? And it's and Wa was losing his mind. Was it yeah. in Philly? It was in yeah, Philly, and yeah. he had fought him once already and got the better of him. So Wa went after him, and it was the nothing play, really. And he challenged yeah. you, right? Well, yeah, well, what would happen was I fought him once exactly earlier in the game, exactly in that same yep. spot. Yeah. And, you know, lefty, lefty scoring up with the righty. He had his lead hand. I grabbed his lead hand, and he pulled his arm out of his jersey and got loose. So he got a few extra okay. licks that yeah. that I, you know, wasn't overly happy about. So... <laughs> stoppage happened the exact same spot like i wanted to fight him again it was yeah, ms right. my sister was in town my sister has ms so it was like oh i gotta put on a show you know so yeah. um square off exact same thing he he leads with the same hand and i and i and i grab on and he tries to pull it out again and i let go and his arm got caught and that's when i went in and just like Sorry. try to tag him as quickly as i could yeah. and i was mic'd up you were mic'd, was mic'd that was up too yeah, yeah, yeah. Mic'd. Oh, it's cool man yeah, yeah. it's really cool uh, but, but yeah i gotta watch that so yeah. he comes back to the bench and he's Everybody's chirping him. 
all the boys on our team, you know, are chirping him, and he's l- literally losing his mind. They sent him home. Oh, that I know trip. they did. Yeah, Torch sent him home. Really, Back he Tampa, could yeah. calm him down. He's yeah. he's got him by his jersey. He's pulling him down, telling him to sit down. He's like in his face. I'm like, Torch gonna get killed, man. This guy's gonna he's gonna pick Torch up. And well, throw how him. about like so so I. I Torts never calmed him down. The guy was looking over, and he yeah, was giving. He, couldn't. Uh, he was doing he was this. Giving you this. Know, you yeah. can't do TV that. time out. This is the third yeah. period. Like I'm not getting another shift. He's probably not. He definitely not getting <laughs> another shift. He hops over the bench, and he's now in front of the bench. Like, yep. like you're fucking dad. This and that. This and that. I'm like, dude. You're like, relax. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, relax, relax. <laughs> Jakey. Relax, baby. <laughs> Relax, so yeah, man. so then yeah, they kept showing on the jumbotron. That was yeah. the last game he played in Tampa. They lined up sending him home. He just you know he was just obviously it's a pride thing, right? No yeah, one likes course, to lose, yeah, right? I mean, right. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah I, mean, it's just, I think if they didn't show it a hundred times, yeah, they were just, the place was just yeah. going like you don't see a lot I of. I can't those. believe Philly did that. Yeah, yeah I know, right? Yeah. I think they hate that. And and the best is the ding ding ding. Oh yeah, the yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Um, and and back then the lines been kind of. They knew it was coming. So sometimes what we've talked about before, too, is like if say there's a scrum and you get in there and you do drop your gloves, I don't like when the lines would jump in there because you might get suckered. Right. If the other guy's got his gloves off, at least they used to let, if you're going to do it, do it. That's what they would say. Go if you're going. Yeah. yeah, You know, go if you're going. If not, break it up. But um, speaking of all this fighting, um, how many mouthpieces do you have? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> did lots tell you dude? and probing yeah. I'm gonna throw them both right out of the bus no, here they think it, I get so much crap for it they think, it, <laughs> they think it's hilarious but it's it's become this on ongoing thing this year with like my mouth guard and like I <laughs> they say whenever I get pissed I put it in the mouth guard and so everyone's doing that <laughs> like, oh, like <laughs> I don't know I just I guess I wear a mouth guard. I go through them because I'm always chewing them, you know, doing oh, all yeah. that stuff. So I'm getting new orders in. You know, oh, and they're okay. like, oh, here we go. So Yeah, I was wondering what that was all you about. You protect the jibs and the jaw, yeah, man. Yeah, you got yeah. to. Well, JVR has always got his hanging out. Oh, yeah, mouth, yeah. I know. It's like an accessory <laughs> yeah. for him. Yeah it's, a, yeah. it's like gum, right? That's funny. Yeah, that is funny. Oh, yeah, yeah they, they, they said to make sure we brought up your mouth guard. Yeah, so that's yeah they love it. They love That's it, great. I guess.